Go to Lamar's house. That'll be easy. Right? So did we lose Franklin back there? Is that like Tell part of the story something. that he just disappeared? What's that? Why aren't you like head to foot in green with the ballas like head to foot in purple? Man, that's old school, man. We don't do that shit no more. Oh, yeah? So how do you know what side someone's on? Man, you just know. The ballers might wear a purple hat or like a shirt with some purple in it. Or maybe like a hat with a B on it for the baller shit. And you know how we get down the families. We rock the Fuge hats with the Fs on it. You know what I'm saying? Or rock the green kicks with the green laces. Okay. Man, everybody already know who everybody is. It's just the law to say certain gang insignias make you part of some vast criminal conspiracy or some shit. They just want to hit you with that Rico charge. So, am I like families now? You, you, you just a weird crazy dude. Alright, so to get back, we've got a long way to go. There's no shortcut, really. I, I guess since we're out where Trevor lives, we have to go up this until we get to a road at least. Oh shit. This is what I'm talking about right here, baby. You know, if we go on the other side of this, we should be fine. We're making pretty good, I guess, progress. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh shit. No, bitch! Okay, here we go. I see some road up ahead on the GPS. We'll be fine. As long as there's no body of water in between us. We fly now. Oh shit, please don't wreck and die, Brad. You can do this. You can do this. Shit. I can't believe we actually made it in one piece. Alright, here we go. Jesus. I kind of wish I was controlling... Franklin, so I could use his ability to drive, because these these back roads are absolutely vicious. Oh yeah, thank you guys so much for the likes and support. Uh, keep it up if you want more. I've been doing my best to try to crank out these videos for you as best I can. You know, life does happen. And I try to put this as like top priority for you guys. I, you know, I was kind of hoping they would talk more. I mean. I guess they kind of did for a second, but... Oh, come on, bitch. Move out the way. This turned out to be a pretty good mission. I kind of hope that, uh... Trevor and Lamar... Do a lot more stuff together, because... You already know Trevor's going to earn his respect. Maybe. I don't know. He has to for the story to progress like that. They got to... We gotta hang out more at least, you know what I'm saying? So what, what do you guys think about this game so far? Compared to games like... I'm not even gonna say Saints Row. This, I think this blows it out of the water completely. You know, it, 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 it's, it's sad because it used to kind of be in the same ballpark. You know? Like Saints Row 2 and 3. Oh no. Saints Row 2 and 3 versus like Grand Theft Auto 4. Yeah, GTA 4 is a little bit better still, but they were, you know, you you still could kind of compare the two, like with 4 and this game. Don't get careless, It's not even the same ballpark anymore. It's a whole different kind of game, if you ask me. I'm just curious what you guys are enjoying about this game the most. Is it the uh, the way I'm presenting it, or I guess why do you watch the videos? Here we are. Man, I'll jump out right here. Later on, crazy dude. See ya. Mission passed. Hood Safari. I liked it. It's probably like... Ever since the Three's Company thing... Did I just like blow out a tire? What the hell happened? Why is this thing not control? What the fuck? DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor son bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. 
Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. I appreciate all the support. So really, we're supposed to be going to this warehouse. I was just about to start recording, and I was like, "Where the fuck am I supposed to go?" I changed over to him. Wait, what? Why does it tell me to change to Trevor? I'm gonna get there with Michael, then I'm gonna have to drive over there. I guarantee you that's what's about to happen. Oh yeah, thank you so much for all the support. I'm glad to see this series still doing well. I'm trying to crank out uh, longer videos, but sometimes if a mission doesn't... You know, like some missions are shorter than others, it's kind of hard to really determine what a long video is. They've all been over 10 minutes, which is good. But if I keep up this rate, we're going to be at like 100 parts. I'm hoping that this series is my longest one, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to stretch it out too far. So, that's why I've been sticking to the main missions for like the longest time. You know, I'm actually starting to get the hang of this map just a little bit. Certain parts of it here and there, you don't really understand why... You know, the roads are a certain way, but over time, you just start remembering shit. Or maybe I've just been on this part of town more than all the others. So how is this whole, like, FIB thing mixing in with Trevor and Michael and everything else? Franklin's still, like, on the outside of all this. He hasn't really stepped up to do anything, like, outrageous yet. Which I don't really think he needs to. What are you supposed the to do? What are you doing? Ah! Nothing! Are you taking a dump? Why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> he reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, mm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Huh? It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price. VIP. You know? You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, no, I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. So I probably shouldn't be running around with an assault rifle hanging out, even though I am with them. Hey, we've got somewhere to be. How far away? Oh, 1.8. Okay. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. 
So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearthed this connection, then what? Then Trevor... Look out! You know how much this car costs? Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent ten years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or... Or... We stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. This is bullshit. This place... Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. I got it. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Some water. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Ah, huh, man? Ah, huh, please. Look at me, please. So, I'm about to really torture this guy, for real? Oh shit, this must be the infamous torture scene I keep hearing about, so... Graphic. I don't know what's gonna happen. Here we go. Alright, now go Nads, bitch! Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home theater. He lives in Chumash, right into the Western Highway. Oh. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. 